All right, y'all, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, y'all, to the Vessel Breed. This is going to be for the sign of Aries. We're going to go ahead and tap, 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 tap right into this energy, y'all. But what, what, what cards do I want to use? Why would I say it like that? All right, I'm going to use these cards right here, the chosen deck, okay, okay, because I know I'm talking to my chosen ones, my ones who have answered the call with the divine mission, divine calling, my gods and goddesses over their life, right, Aries? Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and tap into this energy and see what you are guided to know at this time. What is this current energy, Holy Spirit? What, is, what does Aries need to know? What is their message that you have for them? Neptune, okay, Pisces energy. Some of you guys have Pisces in your chart, all right? Dreams, instincts, psychic abilities. Some of you guys could be, you know, definitely working in your working with your psychic abilities. Like I said at the beginning, answering your calling, operating in your abilities, trusting your intuition. There's a very mystical, beautiful, vibrant energy to you guys. Some of you guys have Scorpio in your chart because I'm getting the energy of this mystical a mysterious energy it's like people can't figure you out or just when they think they figured you out there's more there's a deepness to you there's like a your core is very deep all right you're being guided to trust your dreams at this time pay attention to your dreams okay also i'm getting like uh be careful of fantas fantasizing at this time make sure you're staying level-headed Okay, there is a mysterious energy to you guys' read at this time. I don't know if this is how people are viewing you or there's a mystery here that you're trying to figure out. But we're going to get further and see. I feel like you guys are definitely in tune at this time. You're very tapped in. You're very intuitive, divine feminine energy. Definitely expanding your knowledge about spirituality, about your abilities, trusting your instincts, expanding your spiritual gifts. Some of you guys could be spanning, expanding your knowledge about the cult. I feel like you're, you're feeling very inspired at this time as well as inspiring others. Very beautiful, calm, peaceful energy as well. I feel like you're getting a lot of downloads, messages. Maybe there's a lot you have to say or communicate. You're meditating a lot. You're getting a lot subconsciously, but maybe you're not communicating it at this time. You could be feeling very guarded. The moon here. So that's the mysterious energy I'm getting here. This energy of you feeling like something's hidden. Or again, cancer energy. Some of you guys have cancer in your chart or are dealing with one. I feel like this is also an energy of very type tapped in, very strong psychic into a psychic intuition. Some of you guys are extremely intuitive, very powerful. You know, definitely trust your intuition at this time. Extremely psychic, okay? Um it's almost like alien like like you know some of y'all you know what i'm saying take a resonance leave but don't you know that's exactly you know extra on the extraterrestrial beings is what i'm talking about the plane of that shit is what i'm talking about if you know you know but the empire here all right you feel like there's something hidden about a household a family a ancestry a legacy I feel like that's what your intuition is telling you I can't tell you what to do, but I am being guided to tell you to trust your intuition. King of Earth, you could be dealing with a Earth sign. Or that's what you're, you're focused on, building your empire, building your stability, making um, firm roots, growth. Guardian Angel. So your Guardian Angel is sending you a lot of messages about a specific empire, household, legacy, I feel like. Um, they're wanting you to be strategic, be in this energy of love, all right? King of Cups energy and Taurus energy. I feel like there's also an energy of remain committed to your path, to your purpose. There could be someone also wanting to commit to you. This could be a friend, a lover, a family member. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But I definitely feel like there's a guardian angel here sending strong messages, assisting you within this situation, giving you answers. Could be giving you answers about Taurus, about this King of Cup energy, Father energy, Divine Masculine energy. Somebody very supportive, somebody very loving, nurturing. This person could also be guided by spirit. This could be someone you share an empire with. Some type of commitment here. I feel like spirit is guiding you to be understanding in a situation. 
that you maybe feel is has has hidden knowledge to it or you don't have all the facts to I feel like you are very intuitive you do trust your intuition but maybe you don't you know you don't understand something here wounded warrior yeah but I feel like you're persevering in a situation you're pushing forward even though you feel guarded I feel like you're standing your ground all right you're not, you know, you're not taking chances on any opportunist energy on anybody who wants to play the field. Some of you guys could be dealing with, you know, you guys are recognizing you're too divine to be dealing with opportunist energy, side piece energy. You're recognizing that, you know, you're too, you, you know, your worth. You're not dealing with anybody who's involved in personal game, playing the field. All right. Crosswoods. So some of you guys, crossroads. Some of you guys, somebody's name could be Ross, first, last, middle name. Some of you guys are making a decision or thinking about trying to find an answer to this specific situation, trying to tap into your intu intuition, your intuitive abilities to figure out what's unknown about this person, about the situation. You're trying to figure out if somebody's plotting or what they're plotting, what their motives are. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Capricorn. All right. Or this is somebody you're in separation with. Um, whatever this is, I do feel like karma is here. Okay, there's a heaviness to this, to this energy, to this situation. But I feel like initiation, there was some type of initiation of an empire, of a relationship, of a, of a family dynamic, something needing to be healed. Or some of you guys were going through an initiation. Some of you guys could have been dealing with somebody who had some type of addiction like this. I feel like, um, or someone who was addicted to watching you. I feel like this goes to like more so than like you're, you're, you're understanding your worth. You're understanding that you want to empower, you want a home life, you want a family, you want something stable and wealthy. And you were at a crossroads. Maybe you were dealing with someone or watching someone else that you were attracted to that you felt like you could, you know, build an empire with. And in order to do this, you've realized you had to cut out certain certain energies or certain um, things about yourself, ways about yourself. Promiscuous energies, whether this is you or someone else, you know, put the energy where it fits. Energies that were going to take from what you really wanted, from what you were building, which is your legacy. I also feel like there's somebody that you're connecting with that is a very good provider. That wants to help you build this legacy or that you're building this legacy with. This could definitely be a family member. This could be a father figure or someone that would be a very good father figure for your kids. But I definitely feel like you're being guided away from these energy vampires, from these people who could be draining your energy, just feel very, very draining at this time um, to focus on stability. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to get a new job, a new offer, a new career from this King of Pentacles energy, from somebody very wealthy who, probably, who could have their own business already, own career already. Yeah, but you're going to have a very stable opportunity, new career, a lot of growth. This is a very good read in the 5D. So some of you guys, I knew I did a read about you using your spiritual gifts. This could be with you using your spiritual gifts as well as some sort of passive income for you. Maybe some of you guys um, use your spiritual gifts to find out something that was hidden about somebody who was dealing with this type of energy here in the spiritual realm. You were like, you seen this and it made you come to some type of crossroads. Yeah, King of Swords, you got some type of truth and clarity. All right. And I feel like you're moving towards a new opportunity. If there's a really good energy surrounding career, if you have some type of spiritual business, spiritual career, spiritual job, it's going to be very, it's going to work out very well for you. The world card here, you're ending a cycle when it comes to some type of promiscuous energy um, that you were dealing with, somebody was dealing with, with you, that you were surrounded by, whatever this is. Ultimately, you figured out that you were above the bullshit, you were above that, you're not dealing with anybody who is going to drain your energy, who wants to go back and forth, all right? And I feel like you're moving on from that energy, and I feel like that that's what was hidden. I feel like you were you were hidden from yourself that you were more than what you were receiving or accepting. And I feel like that's what you're channeling. So you was like, all right, I get that. You focused on rooting and grounding yourself, tapping back into the divine, raising your vibration and frequency and, and canceling out anything that needs to be canceled out. Anything that isn't a part of this new cycle that spirit is guiding you to. Ace of Fire. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Pisces. So there's definitely going to be some good news. There were some challenging times ahead. But there's some really good news that's coming in for you. And this could come in in the 5D as a vision, as a download. This good news. Yeah, lovers. 
lovers energy some of you guys are going to be connecting or reconnecting with new new people soulmates partnerships relationships people who have uh, have shared values the same shared values as you so some of you guys are ending a connection while welcoming in a new one more healthy connections spiritual connections yeah, you're letting go of these people. This energy keeps coming out, and I don't want to dwell on it. But whoever was in this energy, or had this energy, or was trying to put you in this energy, or said you was in this energy, whatever it is, I feel like you was at a crossroad with this, but now you're, you're completely letting this go. I feel like that's what could have been keeping you in this energy, feeling like you were in poverty, you were trying to come up with a plan, all right? Or someone else was trying to come up with a plan. Whatever this is, it doesn't really matter, because you're moving forward, all right? You're going to still be prosperous. Whatever energy this is, you're letting it go, whether it's your energy or another person. Anyways, yeah, you're coming into this energy of love now. You're coming into this energy of love. Did we have the king and queen of cups? Wow. So some of you guys, you're going to be doing this with another person you're going to be connecting with. Queen of cups, king of cups. You're going to be building an empire with someone. And I feel like this is what's also hidden from you. If you guys are experiencing poverty right now, this is what's coming towards you or the energy that you're gravitating towards once you end this cycle, this old cycle, this cycle that can't touch you. It's like some of you guys are really accepting less than what you deserved in, in certain situations. And it's like you woke up like, first of all, I'm a divine fucking being. What is this? Yeah. And you guys um, elevated to the 5D. You're like, I'm about to tap back into my spiritual gifts. I'm about to get back into, you know, rooting and grounding myself. Some of you guys are about to go back to church. I'm about to, you know, whatever it is for you, you're about to ground your energy. And I'm getting, for some of you guys, you went back to church and you was like, I'm about to go back to spirituality. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But this is the truth with the Ace of Swords. You cut the mask of others and yourself. And I feel like, yeah, Divine Masculine. Some of you guys were dealing with the Divine Masculine um, who could have had this type of energy here that you cut out. And you was like, I'm not dealing with that. Some of you guys, you know, you're dealing with the Libra. Some of you guys, there's going to be justice in this situation. Yeah, it's like some of you guys, you're rising from the ashes, Scorpio energy from the from the Phoenix. Yeah, Akashic Records. Because you're tapped in, you're divine, you have all the secrets. People trying to keep secrets from you is like, you're trying to keep secrets from the divine, all right? Yeah, Aries, from, from God, from the divine, God or goddess. You have a guardian angel here keeping tabs at all time, illuminating stuff at all time. The sun energy, y'all are about to be so happy. I feel like there's a divine union, an empire, a connection coming in. In. That's two psychic beings in the 5D realm. Two chosen people. You are very chosen energy. You have a divine mission, a warrior spirit. Continue staying connected to spirit. It's like as long as you stay connected to spirit, you have nothing to worry about. And you are extremely powerful, extremely connected. So expect downloads. It's 1212 at this time. Look up angel number 1212. I just feel like this is a very prosperous energy for you. All right. Some of you guys are coming out of your, out of your shadow side or, or, or moving away from people who were in their shadow side. I feel like you're going to be in this energy of, of complete happiness. All right. Focusing on the 5D. Yeah, the world card. Complete happiness because you're ending this cycle. Some of you guys are ending or leaving the matrix, leaving the 3D to the 5D, entering this new world, this new portal, this new cycle where you are more connected with the divine, with spirit. And and, and it's it's like success, a, achievement and love. Queen of Cups energy, happiness. Connected to, to divine source is what I'm getting here. Virgo energy. Some of you guys are going into isolation to do this, to connect your intuition to divine, to God, to the universe. And that's your true love. And then within that true love in the 5D, it's like spirit already has another true love for you that they're going to bring down in the 3D. This read is absolutely beautiful. And it's like you were chosen for this or this partner, this relationship. You guys were, are going to be chosen for each other. But you had to make a choice about what you really about what you truly deserved. This is a part of your Akashic Records. This lover here. All right. I'm getting past life relationship. 5D. This is a very deep connection that you're coming into. Very deep connection. Soulmate. Some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio here. 
it's going to be a very successful connection or Scorpio could also represent the transformation as well from the three to the five, three to the five D floodgates. This is a blessing. A blessing is coming in for you guys. Kindred spirits. This is a, this is, this is, I feel like you guys are going to be so happy. Like tears of joy. You're going to be making it through like some really hard, hard, rough times. And the tower here is coming to, this is karmic justice. This is karmic justice. This is initiation, though. This is such a crazy read. This is a spirit. This is like initiation of a spiritual union, a spiritual empire. This is judgment. You even have Aries and Scorpio on this card. That's crazy. Accomplishment. Bringer of war, raw energy. So you guys, your energy just brings war for anybody that tries to come against you or tries to come against this union. But I feel like you guys are focused on solitude, taking a break at this time, checking in with your energy, rooting, stabilized, grounding yourself, working on your root chakra, you know. But I also feel like this connection is gonna go, go is gonna undergrow a root chakra transformation as well. Becoming more stable, secure, grounded, more of an energy of reciprocation after a separation or a pause. All right. Or maybe somebody's taking a separation or pause right now. Somebody could still be in a dark night of the soul, but I feel like they're going to come out of this. There's going to be some type of unexpected change after there was tension. Wow. With spiritual gifts. With spiritual gifts. We're already at 16 minutes. I've seen 16, 16. You 16. Um, look up angel number 16, 16 as I set, as I, what am I saying? Look up angel number 16, 16 as I read this. But I'm saying um, somebody could be 16 because I was about to say that. I don't know if this is. But Libra energy here. All right, something's going to be balanced out within spirituality, spiritual gifts. Somebody's going to come out of some type of dark night of the soul or somebody's spiritual gifts. Maybe somebody thought they were crazy because of their spiritual gifts, discernment here. But there's going to be power, astro traveling, happiness, the sun. This read, I was getting like something, there's an energy where somebody's moving on from people that are not in alignment with God's will. And anything that tries to come against this relationship, since it is written by the divine and contract, because I'm getting two energies, a divine masculine energy that somebody's letting go of. And then there's some type of new relationship, new connection that you're going to come into, or there's a connection that's being transformed at this time as I speak that is guided by spirit. It's a divine connection with two divine chosen people wow that's what i'm saying when i picked it up again this is two people here two people plugged into the 5d unconditional love evolution on a high frequency divinely guided this is a beautiful read y'all this read is already kind of long i wasn't trying to make it this long some in one card here yeah in the near future this is what's coming in spirit saying the situation is going to improve it's going to cause for balance compromise understanding all right, so that's what I have for you guys. Um, I really hope that helps somebody out in their situation. Beautiful, beautiful read. I just see it's where somebody is just leaving leaving the matrix or there's a relationship here that's transforming out of the matrix into the 5D. It's like two people who are just, if it's not in will with the divine, if it's not being, if it's if, 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 if you're not being guided to where your ancestors are guiding you, it's energy where you don't want it. You don't even want to know about it. It's not in alignment with what you're being drawn towards. So that's what I have for you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you resonated. Okay? All right, all right, all right. And that's what I have for y'all. Peace.